What's up, people? Thank you very much for joining me on another exciting episode of Coffee. Mmm. 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 And snakes. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and prep. Uh, I have set up the terrarium and the, the little Houdini has been hanging out and establishing her uh, cool little trails and stuff like that. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab some pinkies and I'm going to feed a couple extra because obviously that kid has probably been starving for about a month. So I'm just going to do like one just to, sh just to lure it out and show you how cool and intricate this habitat is. Uh, this is, I'm so excited about this snake in particular because this one has actually created burrow systems and it's just so beautiful. Uh, the first time that I saw it, you know, I, I just kind of picked up the, the water dish and here was this n tiny little burrow in the coconut husk. So it was really, really cool and exciting. And it's really cool to see that she's actually done it again in the enclosure that I have her in now, which is a 10 gallon tank. So let's get to dethawing pinkies and I'll totally show you the process. This could potentially be a gross process if you're not into like, like animals actually like consuming other animals for sustenance. So if that's the case, then I've got plenty of other iguana stuff and you know all sorts of stuff that doesn't actually associate with the feeding of it. But I love this thing so much. It's so cool. Anyway, let's, so let's get to it. Ah, oh, so excited! <laughs> okay. So this is where we're at. Okay, so this is a pot of warm water. This is a sugar dish from uh, my family's uh, Fred Meyer China set. These are the packs of the fuzzy mice. It says thank you on it. You know, they're kind of adorable. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put some warm water in here and this has just been steeping for tea and humidity because I really enjoy a humid house, especially in the winter time. Because, you know, as you can tell, I get really dry. Okay, so I'm going to put this back in the stove. I'll be right back. All right, so next step is these little things. Uh, these are the food items. So we pick these up. These are pinkies, or fuzzies, rather. These are the next step up. And these are rats, I believe. Oh, these are mice. Okay, so these are mice. Wee, wee, tiny. Uh, not nearly as tiny as the pinkies. Like, the pinkies are literally, like maybe this long. So about this big, really, really tiny creatures. These are the next step up. So if you have anything that doesn't have a mouth that's big enough to take a, a mouse yet, these are the next step up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this in here in this nice warm water. I'm gonna cover it up, as you can see. I'm not gonna open up the bag or anything like that. I'm gonna let that, those little pinkies permeate on the, over the top. And then I'm gonna cover up that, you know, when you lit it, it actually helps with the process a lot because what you're doing is you are um, sp spilling water all over the place. What you're doing is you're keeping all of the ceramic and all the heat enclosed in this tiny, tiny area. And for this, all you're gonna need is this much water. <laughs> I'm gonna set this down <laughs> because uh, it's just gonna, you know, whatever. <sighs> These cool like auric vibes thing, you know. Mm, whatever. I don't know, I'm doing like a cool day thing. So anyway, so we got this all taken care of and let's go ahead and pause and we'll wait until this gets all thawed up and we're gonna go and take a look and uh, finish the rest of the video. Cool. Okay, I am back. We're gonna go ahead and check on these things. I'm gonna use these today. So these are the ones that I used on the, uh, the snake with the issue with the bark in the mouth the other day and really, really nice and narrow, really, really lightweight and easy to use. So there was very little, uh, any, any, very, very little complication. All right, so I'm gonna take a look here. And you can tell that uh, it's been sitting in there. All right, so we've got the uh, condensation going in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over just to make sure that it's just nice and toasty, toasty warm. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the bag and double it up so that way it keeps the entire bag underwater this time. Awesome. And then ensuring that that lid stays on. Perfect. Oops. Well, obviously you can tell which direction gravity gravity is headed. 
And then also I'm just going to go ahead and pour myself a cup of coffee instead of drinking out of a French press because I'm sure that's like offensive to somebody somewhere. So, good on that. Mm. But, let me show you the setup really quick while I have the chance. All right, from here you can tell the setup that I've got. Uh, he's, she's got, or it, the the snake thing, has plenty of area to roam around, and this one is definitely going to be one who enjoys being ap acrobatic and uh, you know finding lots of fun things to do. So always keep some uh, gallons of water, and then, let's see, where am I at? Oh, oh no, I have to pause it. And I obviously have to use something to weigh it down to make sure that the snake doesn't pop the lid open. So currently I'm using that big, huge piece of wrought iron. I'm just going to move that so you can get a better shot of what I'm doing generally. And then all the way through here, you can see that there are little tunnels. So like down here, I've got these tunnels here. I hope you can see that. So there's definitely a system there. But, yep, we're using coconut husk and plenty of uh, climbing devices and all sorts of great stuff and a little hide in the enclosure as well. And currently, our temperature is 82 degrees and our humidity is 39%. Pretty good. Same for this corn as well. Hey, Grouchy. Hey, Grouchy. There's a hide in there, and each one of their habitats I put, uh, you know, basically maintain regularly so every morning when I wake up I get up and I check on everybody make sure everybody's good all right okay so the next thing we want to do is we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this and we're going to check on our babies they should be nice and warm they shouldn't, uh, they, you should be able to actually feel the warmth. They should be warmer than your hand, and they are. So, we're looking good here. Gross, yeah, I know. They taste bad to us, but uh, they're delectable. They're a delicacy to uh, other animals and creatures, including dogs. So, I mean, no, I don't feed dogs mice. They just find them on their own. Why would I do that? I don't even want to pick up their poop. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, I think I've got a somewhat decent vantage point. Oh, oh, of course, that has to happen. There we go. All right, so that is a somewhat decent vantage point. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop off this weighted thing here. And then I'm gonna take off the lid carefully. I don't usually throw things around. I'm not a throw things around type of a person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place a food item at the opening of a couple of these holes to see if this little one has in fact burrowed. So. There's a corner spot here, there's one there, there's another one right there. There's one at the center of the cage on the right side, and another one also on the center of the cage on the right side. So I'm going to place one here on the top, there, 
And then I'm also going to place this one over to this side of that area. And it should give off enough decent smell. This one has some pretty nice smell to it. And we shall see how long it takes for them to pick up the scent. I'm really not concerned with overfeeding this week because this is a huge, huge, huge snake uh, for the size. So I'm just going to try to give it a little bit more protein this week before it goes into shed. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a second. Oh, look what I just found. Oh my God. I haven't used this thing in like 12 years. I'm serious. Like I literally haven't used this thing since my daughter was born. Oh my God. I have to like plug it in. It's compatible with like Windows 2098 SE MERXP. So, I mean, it's compatible with my Windows 10 potentially or something else hopefully so I'm gonna try that today that's hella cool anyway so it's been five minutes I'm gonna get up and do something else I was just sitting here just going like I'm just gonna do some push-ups or something but I'm gonna give the the wee one a little bit of a chance and I'm gonna come back in a little bit and so will you hey cool this is also my workout room cool huh yeah so while I do this I'm just gonna sit here and see if I can upload or uh, install that software. Can you see me? Oh yeah, I guess you can. Huh. That is cool. I actually kind of like this setup. It's kind of neat. Okay, so let me open this up and get all that stuff taken care of. Give this a shot. Oh, I'm kind of excited about it. Fingers crossed that it works, yeah? It's a really soft shirt. You can tell what I actually use. I mean, it's just, usually my electronics are straight up for just like uh, production. Because that's really what the internet to me is all about. It's not about anything ridiculous or anything. And this is why coffee is just so prevalent in my world. Ah, mm. oh, what is that? Yes, run setup exe. We'll just go ahead and do that. It's from 12 years ago. Do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes? Yes. Oh, hello, Nero Multi-Installer. Gosh, I haven't seen you since, like, 2002. Whoa. What is this? I guess I have to install the suite, huh? I'll do that. 
coffee and snakes and computers, right? I mean, that's really, you know. I accept all terms. Usually when it comes to it, customer information. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the x86 file because when you're installing something, that's usually where it's going to go. Also, I was tech support for two years for a very, very large global athletic company that was required to upload software and firmware on a regular basis for multiple devices on all computers globally. So yeah, I've done that. I'm not, I'm not gloating or anything like that. I'm just not, you know, I mean, I'm always doing something. Oh, come on, Nero Vision Express. Okay, well, the blue bar hasn't even started yet, so I'm just going to pause this here. Look at that. Windows 10 is actually running a 20-year-old program. Okay, well, let's go check on that snake. All right, here we are. Well, nothing yet, so I'm going to take a nice nap. Okay, so with the magic of television, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this process goes a little bit faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and activate the olfactory nerves to pick up the scent of the prey item. So that way it stays, you know, relatively warm or at least, you know, 82 degrees uh, at air temperature here on the inside of the kennel or cage rather. It's, it's all the same, you know, right? Okay, I'll be right back. And I know that you'll be totally disappointed if I don't take you along for the ride, so I'm going to. Okay, so here we go. <sighs> By far, this is one of the grossest things I have to do. Gross, and then you feel for the crunch, you know. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. I can't believe I'm freaking out over this, really. Okay, let me do it up here. Oh. Gross. Here we go. Perfect. Ew. All right, all right through the skull. Oof. Pull your head out of the cage. Gross. Ugh. This. Bleh. All right. Oops. Okay. And then if you're not completely convinced, ew, gross, <clears throat> here we go. But that is a good looking fuzzy, look at all that calcium in the stomach. So your snake is going to get all of those nutrients. That is a beautiful looking piece of uh, food item. So hopefully it wakes, you know, I'm going to try to tap a little bit. Wake up, little kid. If the water, if the water is shaking, then that should be enough to indicate or wake it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover the cage back up. The one thing that I said I don't usually do. And now, 
and we wait. Once it does come out for the first one, it's going to see the other one. Um, and just because I have, you know, fed somewhat regularly, it's going to know that there's going to be something in the cage. And they have great eyesight as well. Really good eyesight. Also, this one is on the lower tier because it is an albino and they don't like a lot of light. So I generally try to make sure that I adhere to the specific needs of the particular animal. You know, for example, if you have eyes that are pink and can't process sunlight very well, then you probably deserve a darker habitat. But I'm pretty happy with this one. Hmm. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'm getting dry, so let's go out and have a spot of tea or, you know, coffee while we wait for the snake. I literally have not seen this software in like 20 years, or 10 years, or a good 15. Oh my goodness. It's a crap computer. It's like having the Amiga 3000 set up in 1993, but it still takes 12 hours to render a piece of chest chessboard. And it's like all it's doing is opening up a program, but it sounds like a fucking workhorse. Thank you, completely success. Let's take a look. I can't remember what's in here. I clicked on the content and templates. What's going on? Nothing, apparently. Are you grayed out, bro? What's happening? Come on. What's the... What's the OEM? Nothing has happened thus far on the installation. I don't even know what OEM stands for anymore. I'll look it up later. Let's click on it. I accept all items. Yep. Mm, okay. Well, let's check on the snake. Because seriously, if this kid has not come out yet, I'm going to start to do my drying makeup. Mm, let's take a look. Mm. <laughs> oh, that looks like nothing thus far. That's a pretty decent uh, shot without any flare. So, nothing yet. Okay. Well, I really want to bother it. I really want to bug it. But I don't. You know what I mean? Because it's just so cool. Awesome. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm just going to, like, peace out because, you know, obviously... It's been like 23 minutes. Thanks for uh, hanging out on this extendedly long, cool version of uh, showing you a basic set of habitats for uh, a couple different variations of the creatures that we have here. And uh, thanks for joining us here on Coffee and Snakes.